Hey there, Carlos Quintana here, CFO of Queen Tax Services. Today we're going to talk a very important question. A lot of investors and business owners ask themselves, where is my cash going? This information is extremely important because many business owners and investors are constantly trying to figure out where their cash goes. What many don't realize is that there are reports including in just about every single accounting software that can be extremely helpful and are a great starting point if you aren't regularly looking at reports. Without further ado, let's get into it and stay tuned to get valuable material at the end. Here are three reports I use on a regular basis to help manage my cash flow. Number one, statement of cash flow. Whether it's your business, your rental properties, or your option trading, the statement of cash flows report tells you exactly where your cash goes. The report starts with the beginning cash balance and shows how cash goes in and out to arrive at the ending cash balance. When I pull a profit and loss report, also called an income statement for my rental property investments, I see a net loss of $20,000. So this loss information is helpful in my tax planning but not when I'm trying to assess how my properties are performing. The net loss is due to large depreciation deductions, which are non-cash deductions uh, claimed on my rental properties. So in order to figure out my real cash flow, I have to pick apart the profit and loss report. While I want the information, I don't want to spend a lot of time digging for it. This is why I love the statement of cash flows report. It does work for me. The statement of cash flow starts with the net loss from the profit and loss and makes all the non-cash adjustments for me. For example, it adds back depreciation. It factors in cash spent buying, in a, buying a new property, which isn't on the profit and loss report because it's an asset that gets reported on the balance sheet. And it shows the cash I spent to pay the down payment and the principal on my mortgage. Remember that if your mortgage payment includes principal and interest, then the interest portion is included in the profit and loss, but the principal portion is not. So the statement of cash flow answers the nagging question, where does my cash go? My number two report. Accounts receivable report. As a business owner and an investor, I want to know who owes me money. The accounts receivable report gives me this information instantly so my team and I can take the necessary steps to make sure our money is received when due. I also use the accounts receivable report to study my customers' habits. It is really helpful to know who pays me quickly and who is very slow to pay me. I use this information to focus my efforts and my team efforts on my on the customers who pay without any hassle. It also helps me with managing those customers who don't pay timely. My number three report is the accounts payable report. I always want to pay my vendors on time. The accounts payable report is a tool to help me do this and tells me exactly who I owe, how much I owe, and when I owe it. The accounts payable report also helps me identify opportunities to negotiate discounts with my vendors such as discounts for early payments and those savings go right into my bottom line. So start now. If you do not currently have a regular reporting system in place, start now by looking at these three reports I just shared with you. Review these reports on a weekly basis. It's important to do this regularly. You'll find that over time, you learn new things from the reports that you can directly use in your wealth and tax strategy. So take it to the next level. The reports I have shared are all historical reports. They have, uh, they're, they're based on activity that has already happened. So to take your cash reporting to the next level, use information in these reports to project your future cash flow. So most accounting software has a forecasting feature the, to project uh, future cash flow. However, you usually have to put in all the numbers to get all the future work. There is also nothing wrong with using a simple spreadsheet to project your future cash flow. The key is doing it. So projecting future cash flow, it's a powerful tool in a wealth strategy. 
it helps with the timing of new investments and with managing the cash that needs uh, managing the cash needs of existing businesses and investment activities so here they are the reports that will answer the question where is my cash going if you think this is going to help a friend or a fellow business partner please share this video with them and let me know in the comments below if you find these reports helpful if you would like to know more about wealth and tax strategies feel free to click the link in the description and download for free a very special report i have for you that will teach you how to take your strategies to the next level no this cook is good man Man, I shouldn't have eaten that cookie, man. <laughs> now I gotta go running. <laughs>